Hello everyone, this is a review on the Epson XP800 small in one printer. You can see right here, it's a small um, touch screen wireless printer that will work with your iPad, iPhone, and of course your computer. Uh, and, and it's an all in one printer, other, un, unlike some of the workforce printers by Epson, because this one is uh, capable of doing photo quality uh, prints, which we'll see in a minute. Um, and it also can do the day-to-day uh, -day task of printing menus and CD covers and uh, just printing emails if you need it. So it's a, it's what they call a small in one because it is pretty small um, printer. And we're going to look at some of the features and see if this is maybe the right printer for you. Okay, here are the features. You can copy print photos, which is directly from the memory card here. You can scan, which will scan right to your MacBook. Fax if anyone faxes anymore, and, and again, this is a touch screen menu, so here we'll push copy, and you're ready to go. So uh, you can do it in full color, black or white. Again, it's pretty straightforward, and Epson printers I found to be uh, very easy to navigate. Um, so people that are a little less experienced, or aka your parents or grandparents, can do this without too much difficulty. Okay, to give you an idea of the back of the printer itself, you'll notice that I have one wire going into it, which is my power cable because it's completely wireless. You do have an Ethernet connection, you do have a phone line connection for your fax machine, but uh, if you don't need them, you don't need them. So it's a very clean back interface and again it's pretty small so you can put this on a, a pretty small spot and uh, be ready to go. As you'd expect, the Epson XP800 comes with a quick guide for setup. I found the setup to be very easy. It took me probably less than 15 minutes from start to finish. There's no tricky parts about it to get it set up. Uh, to my wireless network, it, it worked really well. Um, so that part was was straightforward. Um, it, it does do a good job on that, and I found that all the Epson printers really are uh, easy to set up, and uh, it gets to go. Next, I'm going to show you how you actually can print right off of an iPad. Okay, so here's my iPad. I'll push the button, and you see I've got the Epson application on here. Pretty straightforward. I can go down here to maintenance, and I can. Uh, uh, add as many printers as I want. So right now I've got two. I've got the uh, Epson Workforce 3540, which is a not a photo printer, but it, it does do a very good job on other things, and we'll see that in a minute. And I've got the XP800, so I can select that, and it tells me again, you know, that my color levels where they're at. Next, I can go to an email and um, find an email that I want to print. And then from here, on my iPad, I can just push a button, hit print, select the printer I want to use because there are two printers on this network. I'll select that one, hit print. Sending to the printer. Now, one thing that's kind of unusual is that it has a, uh, a um, extendable tray that comes out on it to save space. So you can see right now the tray is actually extending. And I'm going to print my email right from my iPad. Now, uh, this is going through my network with really no issues to it. So um, the printer speed is pretty good. Um, you can find faster printers. My Epson 3540, in fact, is a faster printer than this. But this is, for most tasks, is going to be quick enough. And there's the email that I just printed directly off of my iPad. Now you can see that I've got it really close, but it really distances does not matter. I could do this really from anywhere in my house as long as I'm in the same network. So um, distance is really just confined by your router. So that's how you can print from your iPad. Okay, here are a couple of photos we took uh, over the Christmas holiday. This is a professional print um, of uh, my daughter and her cousin with Santa Claus, and this is coming off the Epson printer. And what you'll find is, is that the 4x6 on the ultra premium glossy paper uh, from Epson actually looks a little bit better than the professional print. So uh, these sheets are, are relatively inexpensive. You can get a hundred for anywhere from twenty to thirty dollars. Um, the ink is obviously a, a driver on the cost, but the print quality is actually very good, uh, especially for an all-in-one printer. So keep that in mind. It does make good quality um, photos. Okay, so far I've talked about a lot of things I like about the Epson XP800. Now here's one of the things I do not like, and that's the tray. Um, 
one, they're very small, and two, they're, they're actually kind of difficult to align. Um, you can fit maybe maybe 25 to 30 sheets of paper in, in this bottom tray, which is cassette two, and then cassette one, which is right here, and this is where you put your photo paper. Um, you can get a, probably about the same amount of sheets, maybe a few less, but it's very difficult to put in, and it's very easy to push in too far, and if you push it in too far, heaven help you trying to get it back out, because it can be pretty tough. Actually, you have to take um, the bottom tray out, and then you can, from the bottom, you can you can push it back out. But I, I really do wish that Epson had made the printer bigger and accommodated easier, more functional paper trays than, than what you actually have here. So to me, that's kind of a flaw um, within the printer itself, and it's the reason why I, why I would take off one star. Okay, I mentioned the Epson Workforce 3540, and here it is. And you'll see it's a much more substantial printer. It also has the um, the touch menu right there, and it has a tremendous amount of paper stored. So you could fit a lot of paper in both cassette one and cassette two if you choose to. Now it'll print color as well, but it will not print the same level of quality photographs like you saw on the XP800. But for day-to-day -day use, this is the printer that I, would, I actually prefer. So uh, if you're going to make photos, uh, you might want to consider the XP800. But for day-to-day -day use, this Epson Workforce 3540 is, is actually fantastic. It'll, it will also print from your iPad, iPhone, and everything that the XP800 will do. Okay, my final verdict on the Epson XP800, I'm going to give it four stars. I think it's a very good quality photo printer. However, if you're going to be doing lots of photographs, it prints. Um, it, it might be um, better to just buy a dedicated photo printer. On the other hand, in terms of it being a day-to-day -day printer, one that's printing emails and coupons and and homework, um, I, I think that you would like something probably a little bit higher capacity than than what the XP800 would would give you, um, like the Epson Workforce uh, 3540, which is again a, a five-star fantastic printer. However, so who would benefit from the Epson XP800? Uh, for me, I think it's somebody that does maybe 30% photo prints and then 70% day-to-day stuff. So uh, if you are printing photos for a grandparent that may stop by and they see a photo that they love and they want a copy of it, this printer is certainly more than qualified for that. And then the rest of the time, you're using it for the day-to-day task. Um, but again, if you're, if you're looking for something to do that high-quality photo, uh, the Epson Workforce 3540 might not get the job done. So that's a, an area where uh, if, you're, if you're doing kind of a, a mix, the, uh, the XP800 would probably come in handy. If you're going to do much more than 30%, 40% uh, photo prints, you're probably going to want to get a dedicated photo printer. So that's my verdict on it. And uh, for me, it's a four-star recommendation. I would raise it one more star if it had higher paper capacity and it was actually easier to access. So uh, with that, four stars.